What's up? <laughs> mm, nothing like a warm cup of coffee in the morning. I don't know what your favorite cup is, but this is my favorite new cup. It's very fitting, I guess, for donas y tortas. Today I'm going to talk about something I recently um, uncovered in therapy, and it's about identity. Identity and um, what they call raw self and a true self. What you're seeing right now, this transparency and me sitting down, if you've been watching my videos, it's definitely my true self. I think, I think, I think a lot of things, I think, I think. The reason why I wanted to bring up this topic was because I really think it's a pretty, um, it's a very impactful thing to hear and it, I think it really could affect you and impact you in a positive way. So here we go, we're gonna do it. Rosoff, this, is, uh, this means that you are taking the role that you think other people want to see you in. And these could be small behaviors, like we're talking tiny things around the house or big things, you know, career decisions, uh, lifestyle, or you know, what relationships you want. And then there's your true self. It's, the, it's making decisions based on what you truly feel in, inherently and genuinely what you think is best for you. Now what I've been realizing is that for a, a big chunk of my life I've been very much a role self. Now this may be tied to my own issue, not issues, rather insecurities about my homosexuality and taking a role self, right? And hiding what my real feelings are, what my true feelings are, and looking to others and what other people's narrative to, to take that on. What I've been starting to unpack, as the kids say, uh, is that I, because I took on so much of the role self, I, during the pandemic, like I'm sure many people have experienced, I hit a, a breaking point where I started to really wrestle. Like the, literally these two roles of me started to wrestle with each other. My role self became a workaholic, <laughs> which part of it, I'm proud of it. I mean, I did some pretty great work and I'm proud of it, but I definitely was starting to realize that my true self was wanting to, to come out and play, if you will, and wanting to take care of me. Um, and that's hard. I mean, take a moment to think about that. Like how many of us really take care of ourselves? Now I'm not talking about, you know, oh, you go to the gym and no, no, no. I'm talking about, do you take the time to check in with yourself? Do you, do you, do you do that? I mean, I, I didn't really do that. I just would throw more work at myself to not deal with whatever I may have been internalizing. That word internalizing. If you take one thing away from this video and if you're like, you know what, Jackie, you're, this is boring, that's fine. But take away internalizing. Do not internalize your feelings. No good can come about. If that means you have to do, you know, you have to call a friend, you have to journal, you have to do a video blog, whatever you need to do, don't internalize your feelings because let me tell you, Something's gonna pop <laughs> when you just bottle it up. You know, we're humans and humans feel a spectrum of things and feelings and emotions. And as we've been all learning in therapy or on, men on healing TikTok, that's okay. So going back to the true self. So yeah, so I was battling. It was like, I was realizing like, maybe I don't wanna focus so much on my work and I wanna work, make sure I'm doing okay. And that was a struggle and that was its own sort of phase until I just couldn't take it anymore, right? I hit, I hit a breaking point. And in doing that, I chose me. I chose my health, I chose myself, and I chose like, what, what does Jackie really wanna do? And you know, it's funny, I started the Zonas de Tortas um, before even the website, uh, but I think the website in 2018 was definitely a marker of like, I, I'm really gonna take this seriously. And it's funny, because I did, I had the support of my family, my friends, even my work. Um, and unfortunately, I just pushed it off um, little by little. And I think the role self was taking over. It was like, what are you doing? And my true self was like, wait, no, we, we were going to start doing this. And so anyways, well, here we are. And I'm doing this. And I'm happy to be here in front of you. And <laughs> I don't know who's watching this or who's going to watch this. But whatever you are pushing off, don't, don't. Please don't do it anymore. Do it, do it, take, take, take action today. Even if it's, if it's something small, even if it's something silly, please do it because for me, it's like, I'm starting, I'm like, I'm barking on a new journey that is all about making sure I'm okay. And 
and I made a promise to myself. You know, a lot of times we make promises to other people, partners, employers, family members. No, this is about this is about me, and this is like if you're looking at this, it's about you. You know, what promise do you have to make for yourself? Like. I don't know, like, when I th when I think about that, when I say, like, the promise I made to myself, like, I don't know, right now I'm like, yeah, dude, like, I take that, like, to heart, like, I'm, I, 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 I take that wholeheartedly to my heart, and I think, yes, <laughs> like, this is for me, a promise for me. A lot of times, for example, the role self, even when I was 10 years old, I was trying to lose weight, not for me, for my family, for my, honestly, people not make fun of me, people not make talk crap on me it wasn't for me and I don't know how many of you are on a healing journey for other people you got to do this for yourself like and I mean that like in the more in the deepest most existential manner you got to do this for you and you and it's you got to look inward you got to look deep inward therapy obviously has played a big role in, in me un uncovering all this and um, I'm gonna put down some links in the description below for anyone who's looking for for resources or therapy because I am you know privileged enough to have access to those resources and um, so I have some links down there below where you can you know explore what what's available to you so yeah so uh, you know this role self and this true self um, one exercise that my therapist had me do and I'll leave that with you now. So take a take a take a paper, fold it in half, put a line in, in the middle, and put role self and true self. Okay. So when you go to your role self, um, think about the things that you think about behaviors you do, things you do, things you're interested in. Okay. What's filling your space right now? What's filling your cup right now? And then go to true self and think about things that you thought of, like in the same aspect, like things you cared about, things you did, things that filled up your space at that time. And do and and, and think about the years when you were younger, up to the point where you were 10 years old. I know it's hard for it's hard for me, but go back to that time, look inward, and think about those things in those moments. And then you'll look at those two lists and feel like, okay, where's the gap? You know, are there some correlations? Are we are we totally lost? Is it totally different? Now, granted, people evolve and change, and that's great. But we're talking about just, like, values and things that brought you joy. I'll give you an example. For me, when I was younger, when I was a kid, I loved making movies, video. I mean, I was the person with, behind the camera, like, and in front of the camera, to be quite honest. And that brought me so much joy working on projects, and nothing gave me, like, they, it was the making of the movie, and then there was always the, okay, let's get all the aunts and uncles to watch it and seeing their reactions and, you know, seeing their delight. Like, that entertainment was so, um, it gave me a lot of joy. And then, no surprise, but I also used to be called the preacher lady. I would get a TV stand and stand in front of my family members and I would preach. I just really enjoyed, like, bestowing wisdom and, like, having an audience and letting letting them know what they can do to help themselves. Here I am on Donas y Tortas and I n I've never felt so much, so free and so true to myself. And um, so who knew that those things like correlated with each other? Thank you for listening. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much. Oh, lastly, if there's any topics that you want me to explore or discuss, just put them down in the comments. Cheers. <laughs>